Welcome to Bigfoot Hostel Takeover. We are a new business located in the Fruitvale District at 3132 International Boulevard, directly across the street from Wendy's. We specialize in selling large size tennis shoes so we can give you big guys somewhere dope to shop. However, we also carry regular sizes. Don't forget about the Hostel Takeover apparel, which is taking the city by storm. We have track suits, t-shirts, hoodies with safety masks, short outfits for the weather, and fun socks. And believe me, there's more to come. So when you have the urge to splurge, come to Bigfoot's Hostel Takeover. You won't be disappointed. Don't pick beef over bread cause it's fruitless Keep it on some cool shit, smooth with your movements Yeah, smooth with the movements I be, smooth with the movements. I be on some cool shit, on some cool shit I be trying to live like yeah, I just wanna Hey, what's going on my people? Yeah. Hostile Takeover presents another episode of Keeping It 100 with Zoda Rosta and my Maisha Poo. Today she couldn't be here. You know, there's a lot of sickness going around. She's trying to stay away from all that. And I understand it's all good, but we're going to keep it rocking. Do you, you feel what I'm saying? So today we have some special guests, some individuals that I grew up with um, who um, I call my young homeboys only because they're younger than me. You know what I'm saying? Not because they're smaller than me. You know, as a matter of fact, one of them kind of hefty his <laughs> motherfucking self, though. You feel me? But um, I have, if you're from Oakland and for the surrounding cities, Los Angeles, you know, they, 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 they have a, um, a very, a very um, great following. Um, my, my guy Manny Bo, which we call Fresh, and Cash. How you guys doing, man? I'm oh, chilling, good, man. man. Chilling, man. Stop acting so fucking serious. Man, we're good. So. Oh, okay, I'm just making it so. <laughs> making it so. So, just to, just to start off, though, on the Black Rain, um, Black Rain, I want, you, I want you to explain to me what is Black Rain. Black Rain is a CBD company and a beverage company. And CBD is what? Uh, cannabinoids in the, in the marijuana, the ones that fix you, you know what I'm saying? Right. More for health than it is to get you high. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's no... Um, no THC? THC. No, no psychoactive effect in it, no. Look at you educated about that shit. That's what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about, man. Y'all don't know your business. You're selling yeah. something. Y'all yeah. know what you're selling. Uh, all all the motherfucking time. You don't want to be looking stupid. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because I want... Right now, you make me want some. Yeah, I got you know something for I mean? you, too. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. How long... So what made you really want to tap in to this part of the marijuana culture? Man, because of my family. Right. Got a few aunties and family members that were sick and going through ailments, and, and I knew it was a way that we could fix it with some of this CBD shit. You know what I'm saying? So have you actually seen it work? Yeah. With your with your family members? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. I think, who was that? Um, um, was that? Auntie, Auntie Christine? Yeah, Christine. Yeah, Annie Vaughn. Cancer free. Annie, straight up. Straight up. Cancer free. And they've been religiously, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. So you guys, you guys hear this, man? I'm talking. We talking about some 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 real shit, some evidence that if you involve yourself with putting the right things in your body, you can relinquish yourself of these fucked up ass so-called diseases that they got going on. Or you know what I mean? That they claim that they have no cure for. He just said they was cancer free, and I see him all the time. And she stay talking about it's her birthday. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Christine, so, Auntie Christine, man. Huh? Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Like your and we've had some casualties. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I can see why. You know, I've had a casualty, uh, and a couple of them. I had a few of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my mother. Rest in peace to my little cousin Lizzie, and um, my father who had leukemia. You know what I'm saying? I know your mother passed away from, from um, I think it was breast cancer. Um, Auntie Marianne. Auntie, Auntie Marianne. Yep. Can't forget about about her. Uh, so I understand why it was important 
for you to really get into something like that, though. And that's very noble of you. And that's some stand-up shit. You know what I mean? When a person gets to the point where he, he understands he, he, he's not putting himself first. Because it would be easy for us being from the game to say, you know what, man, we finna bag this shit up and sell it. That came later. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying you know I'm some <clears throat> people some people only do this. I know. You know what I mean? I know. And they don't take the route to to to, to the, the what you call it, a cannabinoid, a thebanoid? <laughs> cannabinoid. Cannabinoid. Yeah. Man, I learned the new motherfucking yeah, word. Yeah. <laughs> I owe my kids, I'm gonna teach them. Cannabinoid and all that old shit though, to you know, to to, to really get a, a gist and understanding of, of what's going on though, is that you you you, you took a route that's less taken from individuals that's come from where we come from, though. You know what I mean? Uh, absolutely. You know, we've been we've been poisoning our community for a long time as a young age. You know what I'm saying? I knew it was at a point where we had to do something to try to rectify the damages that we done. So right. that was my route, man, you know? Yes, and this is just only one of your routes. Yes, absolutely. Because yeah, as, you know, as me seeing you guys grow and develop, it made me proud to see you guys involving yourselves in, um, you know, legitimate businesses, building legitimate business and, and becoming entrepreneurs and, 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 and teaching people how to not be afraid of investing their, their money into something that's positive. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And um, I see you guys doing that. And I applaud you guys for that. You know what I'm right saying? On, right on. And may and may and may we continue to pay that forward. You know what I mean? You also, you all, let's go back. Let's go back for a second. You from the twenties? Too far. Too far. I'm right around the corner. Too far. Twenty five. Too far. Too far. Yeah, most definitely. Got a lot of so stories we a, can't talk so about. <laughs> too without. You know what I'm saying? Just to let y'all know how close how close this is. Right around the corner. If the Dauphin ran from <laughs> their block, still something, they ran into us. And it was vice oh, versa. Oh, man. You man. know what I'm saying? And it was vice versa. So, you know, you know, I used to see you guys, man. And, 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 and at the end of the day, I call, I call what we was doing being successful failures. You know what I'm saying? Because we, 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 um, we really was doing no good. Absolutely. Yeah, we was we was doing no good, and um, at the time we really didn't realize it. You know the the full um, responsibility that came with us doing what we was doing. We didn't we didn't know. You feel me? That it would lead to death and destruction, and 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 and, and, and continue a, a level of, of negativity. You feel me? When was it that you said, man, I'm, I'm finished with this shit? Well, after one of them prison terms, you probably shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, because both of you guys are in prison. Yeah, they kept me locked up. But yeah, it was, to me, it was, I was trying to figure out a way a long time ago. So, you know, in, in the middle of doing that, I also started doing parties. And then once I seen I could make money from that, that's when I started stepping my way away from the game like that. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So, you know, it was it was just a few different things that happened. It was some tragedies that happened, you know. Right. Our cousin got killed and then that was that that Shout out yeah, Al. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Alan Chapman, man. Right. You know. That did some lot of stuff to us, had us angry at the same time, you know what I mean? And it was just like, man, something had to change, man. We had kids and it was just like we had to something had to change. Yeah, no doubt about it. And and you made that choice. Yes. Yeah, and you also like you went and did federal time. Yeah. You went and did federal time, came home. I've seen you, you know what I'm saying, um, go from being in the game to, to, to not being in the game to, to having businesses. You guys had a, a, um, a bar where you guys had your, 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 your a license to sell alcohol. That was beyond... My understanding, like, yeah. who gave these niggas <laughs> a license? I, I, I come to, up with that shit. Yeah, what the fuck was that all about? But a lot of shit that we do, a lot of shit that we, we don't even be knowing that we could do. Right. Exactly. Because nobody taught us that. No. You know what I'm saying? So, in essence, you what, you guys learned it and then taught it to me. 
made me see, cat like me see, oh, that's possible. I was just more hard-headed than any one of you niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm 100 years old, and now I'm just getting it. You know what I'm saying? But it don't matter when you get it, as long as you get it. it. You know? But I seen that happening, and I seen the birth of some new individuals. And at first, I couldn't understand it. With your newness, how did you, what made you say, you know what, man? I'm finished. Just like like he said, seeing him do stuff. You know what I'm saying? He right. was my motivator. You know what I'm right. saying? You know, seeing him move. Seeing we could move legitimately. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, just like the Black Rain, that's his baby. He birthed that. You know what I'm saying? I seen him start from scratch with the idea, you know, and been pushing it. And, you know, whatever he behind, I'm behind. I see that. You know? Yeah, I most definitely see that, though, because, you know, um, we all need each other in one way or another. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I see you guys pushing forward like that, even with the motorcycle club. I just wanted to go put some history with that. The name Wise Guy, see a lot of people, and you guys tell me if I'm right or wrong, a lot of people thought that the Wise Guy name came from you guys copying the Italians. <coughs> Does no, that have anything no, to do no, with it? No, not at all, no. man. So was it, was it the individual um, the, in your family yeah, with the it, name Wise? It, yeah, 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 yeah brother right, yeah, Wise. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, so his I, name being, so, last name being Wise, right. you know? So what's crazy is I've never had this conversation with nobody, but I always knew that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because me knowing you guys, I'm a like, nigga that copy and know. No, no, no Italians, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it sound good. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because you had the made men. You had, you know what I'm saying? You had, had the good fellas. Good know? fellas. And you had people, you know what I'm saying? Untouchables. The untouchables you know want to sound yeah. like, the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, 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 um, no um, bad to them, but it's all good. Do your yeah, thing. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with all of them. You know what I mean? But the wise guys didn't come from that. The wise guys came from Ed Wise, who was once a part of a founder. Yeah, exactly. still is. Still you know is. Still very active in the club. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no doubt about it. That's beautiful. And it happens to be your brother in law, yeah. which is your sister's husband. Husband. Yeah. Yeah. We was he, was already, yeah he was already homie before yeah. that, though. Huh? He was already, you know, he was already a homie. Oh, yeah, before for that sure. Blood. Of course, of course, of course. We, we from the 20s. We all, yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? We all family. You can see your sister, not your sister. That was. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You stupid, boy. You stupid. stupid. <laughs> but then, you know, I'll be, I'll be trying to pattern my my relationship from theirs. Most yeah. They got a beautiful fucking man. relationship, Most man. Definitely. And so, I'll be like, you know. Shout out to Tip Top Shake, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, because uh, I wanted her to come and, and do an interview also. But the way I'm going to do it is going to be different. But I want her to come in. We're going to talk about the old school and shit like that, though. Talk about her business and everything. We all doing something, man. That that that's that's going to change the um, narrative, you know, pertaining to how our children um, come up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and I look at you guys' children, and I and and, and, and I say I'd be proud to see. Okay, he's doing this with his child. He's doing this. This is how you know you buy your kids cars and all type of shit though you know what I'm saying you got your son he got motorcycles and you know but at the same time he has to go to school he, yeah, and they have to, they got they got to do things to earn uh-huh. these gifts you know what I mean and you know at the end of the day me myself I never had that in the ghetto growing up we never had that it's a lot of education that we didn't get as far as your credit score yeah. uh, and shit like that though you know what I'm saying so now we getting it and now we getting it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now you also, you guys also have a trucking business. Yeah. What's the name of the trucking business? Team Allen Trucking. Team Allen Trucking. So if they need some, you no, know, so so basically that's the big trucks, right? Yeah, big rigs. The big rigs. Yeah. That's good money, man. Also, yeah. what's, the F, what's the F trucking thing name? Uh, Taylor, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, K Taylor. Okay, Taylor Trucking. Yeah. FL? Yeah. yeah, Fred Fred. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Fred Fred. Yeah. And then we'll see, I mean, uh, Dusty. 
Do it all dust. 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 You know what I'm saying? I was just on the phone with him the other day trying to see how much them dualies cost because mm -hmm. I got a family member that's trying to get into that. But this is all legitimate money yeah. that he works when he want to. Like, I've called him a couple of times. He's like, man, I, I ain't working today. <laughs> <laughs> this on top of his game, man. Yeah, yeah, because he's getting dope. And, I, and, you know, he told me a story one time. I always do this because um, I like telling stories. But he told me a story that was very, very um, effective to me. He said his father, him and his father were sitting on the porch one day. And they saw a 60-year-old man cutting a lawn mm -hmm. and just sold his father he's like man I ain't finna be not, not, I ain't finna be cutting nobody lawn at no 60 years old he said yeah son either you gonna work now or you gonna work later you know what I'm saying so basically saying if you put it in now you're not gonna have to do that shit when you're 60 exactly you know what I'm saying you're gonna be on an island like I just tell my youngsters I'm trying to buy me an island you know? Hey, while we on it, man, I want to um, give you your flowers too, though, man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Absolutely. For real, though, because. Most definitely. You did a, you know what I'm saying, a complete turnaround. For right. So if anybody so. know you, they know. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, you done came a long way. And you're consistent. A long way, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was one of my problems. Yeah. I always had great ideas, <laughs> but never stick to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a, uh, you know, uh, what you call it? Sidetrack. Yeah, sidetrack real fast. But you're on your shit now, man. And like I say, man, I see you. You know, even, you know, I tell you though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, this ain't my first time telling you. This is my first time publicly telling you like this, but I tell you all the time though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see you and I commend you, man, for real, though. And, I, and I'm most definitely... Most definitely. Don't roast it, man. No doubt about it. Most no doubt about definitely. it. We And see, we don't... We Sometimes we don't... We don't understand how smart we are. Right. Until we apply it. You feel me? Motherfucker might... Motherfucker might w w walk around here, drive around here, acting dumb as a motherfucker. But and really not initiating the true intelligence to really rise to the occasion. You know what I mean? And it'd be a fear up in there somewhere. But then when there's no fear, then there's nothing but success. You know what I mean? And that's what I see. I'm gonna continue to get young individuals, entrepreneurs, young men and women like you guys to come and tell your story so that we can, you know, help these young kids out here change the narrative. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna change this shit though. It's, you know, I might not be present physically, you know what I mean? But I know the work that I put in is gonna have something to do with a lot of people changing their their way of living. You know what I'm saying? And that's it, that's all. And if we collectively do it, and if we continue to collectively do it, strong men and women, you know what I mean? We raise that nation. That's the nation that we raise. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then they will continue to exemplify that and it only gets stronger. No, it's definitely. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It only gets stronger. So when you got some young cats and they come to you and they talking about, hey man, I gotta I'm finna go get this lick. Like, hold on, man, what you mean? Come here. Come here. What, you, what you doing, man? You know what I'm saying? And then you make sure that you put enough in his spirit to let him know, hey man, that ain't the way to go. Right. That ain't the way to go, man. This is what's going to happen if that's what you choose. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so um, what else is it that you guys that got going on that um the people need to know about? Sure, we're working on a podcast right now. Trying to create oh. a platform like this, you know? Yeah, see? Something to do with the motorcycle. Mix the motorcycle, like hip -hop. motorcycle and hip-hop together, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it ain't going to be just about motorcycle or just about we gonna talk about everything yeah, you know politics, what I'm saying? everything whatever everything you know yeah most definitely most definitely so as now talking about everything with hip-hop I want to ask you guys about this though what do you guys think about the blood sport <laughs> you talking about the rap game right? yeah it's a blood sport right now oh, it's a blood sport 
Yeah, what are man, your it's thoughts crazy, on that? man. I don't, man, I don't know. It's crazy, man. I don't understand it, man. These young cats get up there to make all this money to get themselves killed, man. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure it out, man. I'm still yeah, that's, that's, that's backwards, that's man. The that's just backwards. Street niggas want to be rappers. Rappers want to be street niggas, man. Yeah. You yeah. don't understand. We trying to make our way up out of this shit. Away from this man. shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I said, you know, Willie D and, and the Scarface them, they said this shit a long time ago. And I think back when we was listening to music, it was a lot more education in the music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When UTFO and... And, 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 um, party happy yeah, music. Yeah, it, wasn't yeah, it was party and education. Yeah, exactly. You had um, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. The message, and, you know what I'm saying? Man, the message you know. and, and shit like that. And it made you feel something and go do something different. Um, as a rap artist myself, I couldn't be a rap artist and be in the street. It was two different things to me. You tried it, it wasn't working. No, no because I don't want you to book me. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't book me. You feel me? Because I'm in the street and I'm doing all this shit in the street. What I'm allowing you to tell exactly. You gonna pay me to come kill? To, to kill? <laughs> you know exactly where I'm at, what time. Because the type of shit I'm doing <laughs> deserve a killing. You feel me? So, you, you go, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do that. But that goes to the fact that you can't be a rapper and a gangster. So, if you a rapper and you out there trying to portray that gangster shit, this is why you lose it. Because you can't be both, man. You can't be uh, the, the gangster is incognito, man. The nigga, you know he moving and Move watching. A certain it. Way. Yeah, we not we not put turning on the TV or, lo or looking at the motherfucking internet mm -hmm. and you on the fly and you every motherfucking way and you just fucked over these people. It don't work like that in right. real life. No, man. Then you got to carry guns that you don't know how to use. All you niggas getting killed with your guns. What is that about? And then you, you spin death, you spin death, you spin death, and then everybody crying when you die. No, that's what the fuck they were, that's what they wanted. They was ready to die. Ain't that what Biggie said? Man. Biggie was ready to die. I didn't feel bad about that. He said he was ready to die. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, and it just kept, just kept on going, kept on going. Now this is the hottest thing out, nigga. And then these kids, they mourn you for two minutes. They put you on a t-shirt, mourn you for two minutes. I got shoes, that's late. Yeah, the memory. Yeah, grab them. It don't stop. It don't stop. <laughs> you, know. you feel me? It don't stop, man. Yeah, man. So. Yeah, it's all it's all good, man. I do appreciate you guys coming through, and um, you know, if if you, any time that you have anything that you want to promote or in anything that you would like to talk about, and um, any help you need, we want to uh, we want to yeah, we gonna we gonna come interview you though, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know we gotta get that interview. That's gonna be one of our first ones, man. So you can most uh, definitely, most definitely. run down your story. So, you know? I, now let me tell you this. My story is crazy, so I charge. Flavor <laughs> <laughs> for a famous, know. man. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I ain't gonna tell you niggas. I ain't gonna tell you niggas yeah. niggas made me get the stuff. <laughs> I was at the motherfucking clubhouse every motherfucking day. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm at the clubhouse every motherfucking day. And I'm seeing I'm seeing these business-minded men take care of their business, and I'm just sitting on my hands. Sitting on my mother's hands. So then I go to Fab Stone, right? <laughs> See the same thing. See the same thing. <laughs> like, what the fuck am I doing, man? You know what I mean? What the fuck am I doing? But that type of shit, it, 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 makes, me, it makes me say, okay, that's how we should be with all our brothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We should say something, say something to him, rather it be in jest or it be a serious conversation. You know, I'll say something, you know, you like it or not. Oh, I'm already known. <laughs> you know, that's my favorite argument <laughs> partner right there. If you know anything about me and this nigga, though, we're going to find a reason to argue. Something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it yeah. just didn't happen right here. Exactly. But if we, we keep on talking, shit. Yeah. if we keep on talking, we're going to argue about some shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to win. 
I think I'm, 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 I'm,
3X, big nigga shit. You dig? Bigfoot. Bigfoot, and we're signing out. Hostile Takeover, Bigfoot, signing out. We'll catch y'all later. Love, peace, to and hair green. Come on, man. Can't forget about it. Yeah. Hey, I just want to lose it. Smooth with the moves. I be on some cool shit. I be trying to live like, yeah, I just want to lose it. Niggas want to pop up.